Today I will show you how to master these crazy shaped polygon effects. Alright guys, so here I have a clip from the fake mink Easter Pink music video and also another fake mink music video. I don't even know if these are music videos, but they might just be edits. Now we can start to use one of my favorite tools, rectangle tool and the pen tool. So how do we make this whole little effect that we saw in the intro? Well, it's kind of simple. What you can do is you can press control D to duplicate your layer, your clip layer. So I'll just be duplicating this uh, little clip and you can go to whatever spot of the video that really doesn't matter. Let's go to the pen tool and we can maybe cut out her face a bit like a triangle like maybe something like this you know here you can use the scale by pressing s and just scaled up like this maybe a bit uh you can rotate it like this if you actually want to have a bit more of control of this you can go to this little tool pen behind and take this right here and just put it in the middle or you could have done that by holding control and double pressing on this pen behind and it will actually press it to the middle middle and yeah we have made her face a little bit like larger like that and we might not want to have it like all the time like right there we can have for a couple of frames so for example what we can do is press ctrl shift d to cut it here delete here and maybe go a bit further yeah maybe two frames forward and press ctrl shift d here oh no this is actually three frames forward okay. and you can make this triangle may even go here like that will look kind of cool really just need to mess around like for example we can see maybe there's like a car driving there so you can go back to your background layer press ctrl d to duplicate it we can take this rectangle we can hold the rectangle tool and yeah we can just draw it on top of the car and now we can go back to the layer press s and like you can scale it up a bit you can maybe have the car even drive like right here and you can like duplicate it how many times you want you can have it like that we don't want to have it for the whole video so we can cut it up a bit we can even cut it like this or something i don't know i'm just like maybe that another thing you can do is you can press ctrl to y to make a new adjustment layer and you can even mask the adjustment layer which is also really fun go to the rectangle and maybe we want to make it to ellipse tool so let's make it like this let's go to the ellipse and maybe let's just go the whole face like this on this layer i'll add transform i'll make the scale a bit higher maybe like that or you can actually even make it a lower and you can press ctrl shift d and cut it out a bit here and we can have this for like two or three frames i usually have it sometimes four and you can just make plenty of these adjustment layers like you can add rectangles add transform make the scale maybe a bit higher position a bit different by the way you can also change like the rotation as well rotation is a pretty cool thing to change place it in a completely random spot maybe there and you can just duplicate this like press ctrl d and like take this and drag it like wherever you want yeah just duplicate it like super randomly like this and yeah, look what you will have here maybe we just want to cut out her face so we can go to ellipse just maybe cut it out like this and now let's press s and make it a bit higher i guess have it for two frames like this maybe then have it cut off a bit and then have it like smaller but add invert and yeah just have it like spam like this by the way what i'm doing right now is very random you don't have to like follow every step i'm doing i'm just doing random little adjustments and one thing you can do is again press ctrl d on the background layer and make a really big triangle i'll make it with a pen tool so i'll make the triangle like maybe this yeah that's a big triangle and press s and make it really small and yeah, you can place it like around here we can make it go on top of the other face by the way and we can press r and make it rotate like this and we can duplicate it here again further on we can maybe make it even bigger like that and look how this will look okay that's like a super random effect but it's like exactly what we wanted let's make sure we have our adjustment layers on top of other layers and select other layers except this background layer this is like our first layer we made select all of the mask layers just like something like this and don't select the adjustment layers right click press pre-compose and here we can call it like uh, shapes i guess and press okay uh, so like one thing you can do is add deep glow if you have this plugin this is actually a plugin so uh, you don't need to have it by the way but i just want to show you what it will do press ctrl d on this layer and duplicate it right here so we could have something i might make it like this yeah oh yeah that's fire i have it like that yeah look how this would look right now you can have the deep glow for a couple of frames but not for all so you can like keyframe the exposure right here 
to one and behind it one frame you can make it to zero now it can go like right here maybe maybe right here i'll press u to see all the keyframes press on here to keyframe to one and go here and make it to zero and another kind of cool effect you can add is as jpeg damage and that will like damage these little blocks a bit more to make them look a bit cooler and yeah uh as jpeg damage does require the sapphire plugin the deep core requires a ukulele plugin but you guys guys again you don't need to have this oh yeah oh yeah another thing i forgot to tell you is on these effects you can add black and white and it will be really cool as well all right so now i can go to this clip and press ctrl d so i can go to the shape layer go to the star tool to so start it from here yeah exactly like that and we can actually take it and make it maybe go up it here and now we can go back to the background layer press ctrl d we can go to the shapes and make a rectangle tool and draw it on our face like that and press s and just scale it up a bit yeah like that I actually have this start a bit further so it's first the start and this and a little last adjustment is again we can press ctrl d and add it on top of here this a, a, a tiny little adjustment i will just draw a cube right here on her eyes like this and not scaled up or anything and i'll add it at the ending right there it's kind of hard to notice actually but it won't be hard to notice if we select all the clips right here right click press p compose press ok and add deep clone now and that will look really cool in my opinion and a little trick you can do is i guess we can press ctrl shift d and add the start have it like this but further on we can add an effect called turbulent displays and what i like to do is go to the amount and make it like 1440 and it will have this effect and we can spray it maybe right here and yeah you can do this with any by the way shape layers like for example like the shape layers we had here oh you can just turbulent displays make it to like 1440 and you have like this crazy effect i don't know how to call it but it just looks insane so yeah if you want these like super crazy how would you even call that effect i don't know then all you need to do is just add turbulent displays on your layers and you will have that i mean wow that is actually insane how good that looks and you can also if you want add s flicker below it uh, it's not needed and it will flicker pretty cool if you guys were wondering on the last clip right here i just added a bunch of like super random shape layers i duplicated the face three times like this i made the first face larger then smaller and smaller here i made them black and white yeah so this is like the last example and then i actually cut out like a part right here and here i did exactly the same thing turbulent displays with every layer it looks really cool and then i zoomed it out tell me what you guys think about this effect i thought this was a pretty creative effect i mean that looks really cool how would you even call this by the way that is just insane i guess i called it like a shape layers effect but if you guys have a better name for this uh, tutorial then let me know some of you guys uh, mentioned some pretty cool names on the instagram so i might change this tutorial name to the names you suggested on the instagram we will see but yeah guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see you